Good evening friends. In, in, in this session we are going to see a very important yet ignored feature uh, of uh, SSIS development that is uh, package protection levels. So what do we mean by package protection level here is suppose a user develops an SS, uh, SSIS package and that uh, SSIS package is, is promoted from uh, QA uh, from development to QA to production. In different environments if, if uh, I have developed the package and uh, then someone has the liberty to go ahead and change it while uh, while it is being uh, promoted to forbid that even from happening uh, what would I do is in, in an unsecure environment to implement my level of security I encrypt the package with a password so there are different ways uh, to do that in, in this session we are going to look at uh, how uh, what are the various ways of encryption or encrypting the package so this is a very simple SSIS package that we have in place with, with, with a SQL task. Now what we will see is when you go down to the package properties you see a package protection level use, uh, which has multiple options when you drill down. So by default uh, it uses don't save, uh, save sensitive uh, which means is uh, save sensitive means it will suppress all the sensitive informations uh, when you save your package and, and promote it which means is uh, something if you see uh, the connection manager uh, if you are using an SA account the password would not be saved you test your connection and, and you run your package locally uh, from your developer environment it works perfectly fine but when you promote it to the next level the, uh, the uh, password would not be saved and uh, the user would need to feed the password again and then run the package if uh, one desires so. Uh, so that is one of the package uh, production levels. Now let's uh, try to see what is the other one. Now let's see encrypt all with password. If we use this we provide a password so the entire package stands encrypted and let's build it all over again so the package uh, has been deployed in, in this deployment folder now if we try to run this package let's see If you run this package, uh, what we uh, see is an error. The error is the package is encrypted with a password and the password is not specified or is not correct. So this is uh, the error that we get. Now to, to uh, rectify this, you will have to provide a decrypt option. So then the package succeeds. So the decrypt option uh, along with the password with which you have encrypted the package allows uh, any user to run the package uh, and uh, uh, from the command line. At the same time, now what we do is, I just place this package here and then, then we'll delete the package. Now, if we try to add the package, uh, let's see what error it gives. It will ask for the uh, password immediately. Only then uh, you can, uh, you'll be able to add the package, and this will be the password for the sensitive information. So. So it, when you encrypt your package uh, with all everything uh, is sensitive or I mean the entire package gets encrypted. So, uh, so uh, that's point one, uh, one of the ways. Now the next being encrypt, encrypt sensitive with passwords. For this, uh, for this uh, option, in this option only the sensitive information will be encrypted at the same time opening for opening a package 
can uh, uh, can be allowed by any other user if one knows the password now coming back to uh, the other two options that we have encrypt all with user keys and encrypt sensitive with user keys uh, are similar to the other ones uh, encrypt all with password the only difference stands is when you encrypt uh, since it is uh, per training to user i would not be able to show it uh, to you on my system but the the funda uh, the funda is uh, when you are encrypting the sensitive information with user key or encrypting everything with user key your package will scan only be used uh, i mean and opened by the user who has actually developed it so the password that you provide in the package a password uh, column or, or the field will only uh, will only map it is like a key which will map to the user profile so the user profile uh, who has created or developed the ssis package will only be able to uh, open the package uh, so if in this system i have developed it i, I promote it and any other user uh, tries to open the package even if he knows the password he wouldn't be able to uh, do anything or, or open the package on on its on his own because the reason being the password is is mapped to my user profile only so uh, that is what these two uh, uh, these these two options apply for and the last one is is the server storage the server storage maps to the msdb when you are trying to save your package uh, to a sql server msdb database uh, whatever prof uh, it it would totally relies upon the database rules so the user if the user has the ability to access uh, uh, is is a permission of a db owner or or sys admin he can have the complete access of the package so so that is Uh, all about uh, the server storage part so these are the various uh, package protection levels for you i i hope it will be useful for you when you are trying to uh, develop and you can take an appropriate call based upon the requirements and environments thank you